This is Max from Unsubscribed Healthcare. I wanted to go over with you guys the intake form area. This again is very similar to the patient's objective that we just went over. It runs the same way. You can see that there's a lot more fake patients that have been populated by me for several testing reasons and everything else. Um, but we come up here, we'll click on myself, click on patient ID. Okay. You don't need to worry about lock or unlock. Click search. And you can see that it pulls me forward. The reason why a patient ID needs to be different is because in case there's two people with like the same name or anything else uh, that come in to your clinic, you want them to have different patient ID. Um, and that's so that the computer program will make sure it pulls up the right person. The way that I create the ID is that I have the people type in their first name, initial and their last initial and then the date that they did the intake. You can customize it to be whatever you want as long as somebody has a patient ID that's going to be unique to them. You should be good to go as well as the first uh, as the, well as their name. Um, but again, this is helpful because I can come through here if somebody was like, "Oh, my number my phone number isn't that. Uh, can you change that?" If you change it here, it will update to their um, their own file and everything else. Um, so this is just a quick way to update, clear, delete. I don't have save because it wasn't populating correctly. It is easy enough to come up here, click on patient intake from the unsub menu, and fill it out. The only three things, again, that I require are the first name and middle initial, last name. You don't even have to fill in the middle initial if you don't want to. Um, and then you come down here and also the um, uh, patient ID that we just discussed. So it would be uh, John Smith would be, if he did the intake form on 1-5-2022, you would do JS01052022. And then that way your the computer programming is going to be able to pick up on everything. So, say that we did that. John Smith. Come down here. So, I'm in the middle of treating somebody. I get a phone call and they're saying, hey, can I set up an appointment? Obviously, I want to, want to get the first name, last name, primary phone. Um, five, 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 five. Um, and I will call you right back, right? So you type that in, and then you also type in the date is 10 19 Click Submit. Okay. And then you think to yourself, okay, now I need to call that guy, and I need to set up his initial eval. So you go over here, click on John Smith. Patient IDs will be listed out. We just said that it was 10-19-2022. I'm going to click search. Um, so that's saying I have multiple arrays. Okay. So this is from the other day when I was doing it. And that's the problem that we run into is with me testing it so many times. I've run out of names to try. Uh, so you come down here, John Smith, 1017. Go down a little bit further, John Smith, 1019. Yeah, so that's why it was having an issue is because you can see um, John Smith was entered with the same exact uh, uh, first name, middle name, ID number. So if we wanted to, we'll get rid of the one. We'll get rid of the one without the phone number. All right. We can just right click, delete row. And now we should be able to go back up top and click the 19 and now we won't see a red mark here anymore click search and you see the number comes in so now that I've finished treating my patient 
and I want to get this person scheduled. All right, I want to get down some of their information. So we can say js at gmail.com, mail, date of birth, he was born yesterday, 10, 18, 22. Um, again, you would just be able to put in all this information. Right, um, and then we would be also able to schedule if we wanted to have him scheduled for Friday, we could click on Friday, and then you'd be able to put in his name. I usually just put the ID number. Um, whatever floats your boat though, if you want to do their name, this is how you could do a patient intake as well as get them scheduled. And now you can see that they're in there for my schedule on Friday, October 21st. And then I'm going to click update. So the intake has been updated. We come down to the bottom because he was the last person. You can now see that it has added all that information down to the bottom. So if we were to click clear, go to John Smith, 19, there you go, and pulls it forward. So again, the system is a little bit limited, as you saw, it did make an error, but it's not perfect, but it does work really well, um, especially for small clinics um, and people who don't have, are areas that don't have a lot of the people with the same names who would might come in for an intake on the same day. Anyway, this is all about the patient intake. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below.